So are you able to save now? I'm not really saving oh. because I do just 20 hours in the UK. I won't advise anyone to come to the UK studying and also working at the same, especially doing a PhD. It's very difficult. People that are making it in this country, I feel like they are students mm. and they are dependent. Students? Yeah. They can work anywhere. They can do any work they want to do. No, no. It's very hard to save. It's very hard. What are you using your money to do? <laughs> so with all these things that are going on, are you able to save at all? I think, yeah, I can save. Uh, that's it. <laughs> For a special one, won't you? <laughs> Not joking. No, my guys, them, them know me. Hey, guys. <laughs> I am back again. Like, I never left. Like, how can I leave you guys? I can't leave you guys alone. Trust me. I can't leave you guys. So, I'm back again. Like, I never left with another video. You guys, at this point, I think it's safe to call me Gloria. Guys. Pip the glow. <laughs> Pip the glow. <laughs> anyway, people, how are you guys doing? Welcome back again to my channel. It is your favorite, favorite, favorite street girl, Melissa. Keeping it real. Keeping it locked down. Right on the streets of the UK. Today, I'm going to be asking immigrants, not Nigerians. I know I always ask Nigerians questions. But today, I'm going to be asking anybody I see regardless of where are you where you're from as long as you're an immigrant living in the uk then you're my candidate so <laughs> so today i'm going to be asking them how they are coping with the cost of living and whenever minimum wage goes up every single thing goes up as well so i keep wondering economists in the house you guys should explain just explain i'm not an economist but if you are please explain to me let me understand the rationale behind this anyway things are so expensive now believe me things are so expensive people are struggling to save money it is a whole lot of effort saving money right now in the uk so i want to ask people like how are they able to save are they even able to save like where do they buy their clothes where do they buy food you know at reasonable prices because things are expensive so people i just want to ask immigrants how they are coping because <laughs> because it chalk guys it chalk things are expensive and there are no jobs that's the only thing there are really no jobs not to talk so much guys let's hit the streets of the uk together for my university students people that still want to come to the uk to study or people that are already here and are looking for accommodation i want to introduce you all to uni Aco. uni Aco is a global platform where university students can be able to book their accommodation it has over 1.5 million beds and it's present in over 10 countries of course uk is one of them now they have different kind of accommodation on suits non on suits studio they offer very outstanding policies like no university, no pay, no deposits. Also together with its free of charge services. So you can inquire, ask any question free of charge. They are located in so many cities in the UK. They also offer very other outstanding services like cashbacks, Amazon vouchers, etc. And one particular thing I love about them is the group booking. So if, for instance, if you and your friend want to book or you and your sibling want to book, it is very much available for you using uniaco you guys check the link in my description box to find out more about uniaco thank you so much uniaco for sponsoring today's video hey people <laughs> no need to say look what i just met because if you know you know <laughs> hi what's your name hi my name is precious <laughs> say your market see you guys i'm talking to a celebrity <laughs> she just blew instagram carried that no insta blog ninja carried that today i know carried that Twitter carry that. I see darling on YouTube carry that. Everybody ah, has I'm been carrying you. How do you feel? Um, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in the UK? I've been in the UK for one year now. <laughs> What's your experience so far? Do you really want to know my experience in the UK? Um, my experience in the UK, it's not that bad, but it's I can't say I'm really doing well mm. because of how the country is at mm. cost of living and mm. being single in this country is not easy because you have to pay bills all by yourself <laughs> compared to those that came with family it's not been easy eh? it's easier for single people than family you get children says who <laughs> when you have husband and wife your money will come your husband's money will come and the bills will be right higher anyway that's my own point of view <laughs> this girl. please oh, let me know in the comment section which will be easier it's not when you're single you're working you're paying your bills you're not cooking oh. so much but when you are when you have kids and a partner 
No, you can't compare. But let me know. You you people should be the judge yes. in the comments section. Drop a comment. Let's see who lives better. Is it single or married people? But I feel it's married people anyways. Because <laughs> it's not easy paying bills all by yourself. You yeah, I have colleagues that are married and I see how they live. Yeah. In less than a year. They've been one year or two in the UK. But they have cars and they are doing so well. Nah, you can't compared to... That. I can't even afford a car right now. You just give me a very good um, topic on YouTube. My next tweet content will be this particular topic. So look out for that. Because... I feel like when you have children, mm -hmm. the expenses is a lot. You burn more energy, use more water, you use more gas. The expenses, I don't think so. Health care costs. How much is water? Water is very Jesus. cheap. And I funny mean, enough, free education. So what are you saying? Child care costs. Do you know how much child care costs? Breakfast club lunch club feeding them but you you can decide okay today i'm just eating only mcdonald's of yeah. 10 pounds that's what your expenses for that day but family you must cook single people we must pay bills see this this thing is so funny anyway this is not the main topic yeah. today but it just really crazy i can't believe this is what you think are you joking i'm not joking <laughs> my video uh, went viral because i was actually sincere that was me saying how i feel mm -hmm. though part of it was not true but most of them was really how i feel like oh, working hard <laughs> I work five That's times in a week. <laughs> I work You're working for the wrong company. <laughs> People that are making it in this country, I feel like they are students mm. and they are dependents. Students. Yeah. They can work anywhere. They can do any work they want to do, especially mm. doing holidays. I know some students... But they have school fees. Three thousand five hundred pounds. But they have school fees to pay. Those that don't have school fees to pay. Even with the school fees. I know someone within a year, he paid her school fees. Mm. The remaining balance, I think her school fees were £12,000. Mm. She, um, Her family assisted her with 5000 mm. She completed the rest herself within a year and also saved £5,000. And she just got a car. Jesus. So they makes money. Oh, in the comment section, go shout. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm, I'm so much looking forward to your comments. Because Please, I never comment. knew people actually reason this way. <laughs> This is me being plain and truthful. I think the problem is the company. Students. I don't think you can. No, it's not the students. company. Because I mean, minimum wage is minimum a, wage. A, a COS order. Minimum wage is minimum wage. There's no way they can pay us lesser. So it it. I feel like student ends small, Jesus. especially in that <laughs> postgraduate. Two years postgraduate, they can literally work mm. 50 hours a, a week if they want to. Mm. So they have. They can work anywhere. You can work that 50 hours with your company if there's shifts. That's the point. And make money. That's the point. I'm only, I only work is your circumstance. Hour. I only work my contracted hour. <laughs> and once in a while, a few shifts, yeah? <laughs> so, for a special one, won't you? <laughs> I feel like we've deviated. <laughs> anyway, yes. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this argument. Yeah. So, you know, cost of living has like increased yeah. significantly. In fact, the cost of living in the UK now is so high. So, how are you coping? Because, I mean, you came last year. Yeah. Now, the prices you were getting some things last year, is it the same price you're, you're buying the, the same things this year? Um, you see, when it comes to cost of living in the UK, when people are complaining about cost of living, mm. I don't really have enough to say because... I was not here when things was really that good. Mm. I came here just last year. Yeah? And you entered on a platter. <laughs> exactly. Case closed. And yeah. I was even living with you. We had the yeah. bills. <laughs> I don't even know the price of anything. So I can't really say mm. cost of living has really increased or um, have my own share of it. Because mm. those people that have been here two years, three years, they are the ones that can really say a lot mm. about this cost of living. Yeah. But because the government has increased our salary, mm. it's from £10.42 to £11.44. Mm. I don't need anybody to tell me that cost of living is really going on here because i came from nigeria if, if you are talking about cost of living yeah what would you say in nigeria <laughs> you will die now you will not survive so even with the cost of living me i'm eating well that's all i know yeah food is not a problem for me and if i say let me save the money for my food for other things it will even be enough yeah it so will you go just go chop the money for mouth chop them chop them i don't even spend up to 100 pounds a month for food it's not even possible so i can if you save 100 pounds what would you use 100 pounds to buy it will, you can't even use for car so what's the point allow me to chop my money chop my food yes yeah, so oh so cost of living but i feel like there's a bit increment from last year to now like mm. just few pence yeah, it's not yeah. like a pound mm. like few pence yeah mm. so to me it, it doesn't really matter to yeah. me though but for you people that have been in this country mm. now now if you talk all this ones mm. we newbies we, we don't really have much to say <laughs> <laughs> all right quick one right okay so are you able to save no no it's very hard to save it's very hard what are you using your money to do <laughs> rent ah at least food 
So it's not easy to save. I save anyways, but it's not much. Maybe you should join a job. I've been now. You know, I mean, Yes, I've been about 200 pounds. I joy a month. Maybe you can save better I that way because I don't know the root cost. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for showing up on our yeah. channel. Do have a great day. Hey, people. Look what I just Hi. Look what I just made. Beautiful girl. How are you? I'm all right. And you? I'm good. You guys, I met her studying. She, see, I had to drag out. Honestly, thank you so much. You're welcome. And we are matching you know. I know now. I know. <laughs> Anyway, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. How are you finding the weather? Well, it's been really cold lately, but mm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Quick one, right? You know, cost of living has significantly risen in the past few months. Are you aware? Yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah. So how are you coping? Hmm. Cost of living in the UK is, is really expensive. Like for me personally, I feel like some days I get to struggle because I love to have fruits like every week mm -hmm. and I have to like restock. Like the prices change every single day. It's really crazy. But what can we do? We just have mm -hmm. to live well and eat healthy as well. So mm -hmm. it's not really pleasant, but we are all coping and we're managing the situation. Mm -hmm. Something interesting happened lately, right? Mm -hmm. Like I only shop either with Asda. Um, Tesco or Lidl mm -hmm. most times and I know my friends has been telling me that okay they told me they always get their fruits at um, Huddersfield Market yeah, okay, but I felt like okay the price difference is like literally the same mm -hmm. so what's the point going all the way to get the fruits there instead of you know you know the day I, I used 25 pounds mm -hmm. I got like a lot. A lot. My fridge was like filled with fruit, mango. Yeah. You know the mango that I love? Mm -hmm. I got everything for just 25 pounds. I went back home I was like wow <laughs> Even when I had so much money, I wasn't eating this kind of fruit. Are you serious? I get to like, okay, let's say you get like three mangoes for one pound. I think so, right? Three mangoes for one. And very healthy mangoes. It's fresh. fresh yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think how this would market for now for fruits. <laughs> He's doing it for you. For me. Like I'm going there every Saturdays to get yes. my fruits. Oh. Now, yeah. Then clothes. Okay, clothes most like shop online. Mm. I do it at um, House of Fraser. Ha. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> I go for the sales, like the sales hey. items. So don't think I'm going to go and buy something for one thousand pounds. No, no. it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm rich, yeah, I'll do that. But for now, mm. I'm on a low budget, like real oh. low budget. <laughs> so I'm just trying to cut down everything, mm. everything. I shop less now. Shopping mm. really makes me happy, to be Ooh, honest. It's therapeutic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like most times, I just stay at home, use my phone, and just go online. You know, mm. pick whatever I want to buy. I have so many things I'm yet to wear. Mm. I just love buying them. Yep. But at this moment, I look at them and just save them in my mm. basket. For now, I'm on a low mm. budget. I'm waiting till things get better and mm. I will go back to, you know, buying my usual things. Yeah, you know, yeah. you can always sell off your clothes, clothes you don't want on no, vintage. I'm not selling anything. <laughs> I'm not selling. If I, want to, if I want to actually give my things, I'll write them to Nigeria or give my friends. Mm. I'm not selling. I'm too rich to do that. Uh, so I never hit you yet. <laughs> It will never hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is so funny. Anyway, so are you able to save now? I'm not really saving oh. because I do just 20 hours in the UK. Mm. Like, yeah, she's a PhD student. You know. <laughs> so yeah, I, she's I, a, I'm not a student, a PhD researcher. <laughs> so I do just 20 hours. Yeah. So the money is, yeah, I just go for my feeding and all of that. And mm. you no, know, so I... I'm saving nothing. Mm. Most of what I get most times is from home. Yeah. Mm. So like food stuff, African no, food stuff. No food stuff. I think my mom sent them. If if she's finds someone coming into the mm. UK, she sent food stuff. But like my tuition is being paid from by my dad and all of that. So <laughs> I'm a baba love. I'm a baba love. Yeah, my the, uh, uh, my twenty hours here in the UK just you're blessed. Amen. You're blessed. Just covers my accommodation yeah. and so feeding. I like people that are very honest because honestly, yeah. you're actually really honest. Because some people will tell you they save, even though they know deep no, down I'm they not don't. Saving. I can't even lie about that. Mm. I'm not saving anything. Mm. I won't advise anyone to come to the UK studying and also working at the same. Especially doing a PhD It's very difficult. Doing a PhD and working. It's stressful mm. because one has to suffer. Either your studies is suffering or your work. For me, mm. the work is suffering because I have to just do 20 hours and not go mm. extra. Only mm. during holidays, I pick extra day mm. to, you know, make up. Make up, yeah. 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 So do you have any tips for people that yeah. are probably struggling a lot right now? Now mm -hmm. they can save. Where your heart no reach, no put out. <laughs> <laughs> you go born. <laughs> you go born. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, you guys, this girl is a vibe. I swear, she's a vibe. Oh, nice, nice to have you on our channel. Hey, thank you for having me. So, hey guys, look who I just met. Handsome young man. Hi, what's your name? My name is Jemai. Jemai, hi, Jemai, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I like your hair. You might need to share some of your hair maintenance tips for me after this video. No worries. I'm happy to share it. Oh, yeah. oh, great. Fantastic. So where are you originally from, if you don't mind sharing? Uh, so I'm from Leeds, but my family, my dad's Jamaican, mm. mom's Nigerian. So mm. yeah, bit of a mix. Uh -uh. You guys, is our own. No, show him some love. <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, likewise. Right. Okay. So... So the cost of living in the UK has significantly increased in the past months. Are you aware? Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you take the bus, bus fare, I know it used to be like four pounds something, but now it's, I think, about five pounds. And if you shop from Aldi, as that, things have really, really increased, either by two pence or ten pence. But if you're very familiar with stores, you must have noticed that some things have, like, things have really increased. Have you noticed that? Yeah, definitely, man. Like, it's, it's <laughs> tough, man. Let's go into Sainsbury's and you trying to buy like a small bag and you leave and you're spending like 30 quid like it's a bit <laughs> peak so yeah right so how have you been coping then uh like i just try and budget a bit better in it i'll go to like little or something it's a bit cheaper there mm. and like get occasionally just get small things and maybe like store it up and that mm. uh a lot of canned food as well do you get what i mean Oh, great. Even Lidl is, is no longer cheap. <laughs> right. So are there specific stores that you now shop, you know, to be so you can be able to save more? Like, yeah. can you tell us some of the like cheap stores where you, where you buy some of your clothing, your food, where, you know, where you just shop to save more, basically? Um, they feel like for food, Lidl, Aldi, mm -hmm. um, if uh, like clothes and stuff you just get to like your local primark or something like because they just have stuff cheaper there they've got a lot of nice stuff there mm. so i think that's a good option to be fair as well right. uh, okay yeah. okay that's nice yeah. so how are you able to save money at the end of the month because lately lots of people are keep saying they are unable to save like they work hard they earn money and they just spend it at the end of the month on bills rents electricity bills council tax and so you're a student anyway so you don't pay council tax but like lots of people are really complaining that they're unable to save so i'm asking like how are you able to save how are you able to cut down like are there any strategic things that you put in place so that at the end of the month you're able to have something left i think i just just like I look at things and like prioritize of do I need to do I need to be buying certain things like maybe for example if you're buying like you're ordering online or you're buying snacks over stuff like that mm -hmm. kind of cut cut that out cut it down on it a bit mm -hmm. and just prioritize the essentials really like mm -hmm. your food your drinks uh, mm -hmm. clothing and shit like that mm -hmm. and stuff that you really need mm -hmm. um, if you're traveling as well, like maybe quite a few Ubers and just walk mm. like some places as well. It's a bit cheaper and if it's yeah. not too far, like yeah. it's fair enough, isn't yeah. it? So, right. yeah. Okay, amazing. So lastly, lastly, I was so really easy, right? So with all these things that are going on, are you able to save at all? Yes or no? Just simple. Yes, I can still save. No, I can't save. I'm struggling. <laughs> I think yeah, it can mm. save, but it's just it's just obviously it's a challenge in it. You got know I mean, so you have to really be hard on it. Like mm. it, I was struggling a bit before, but I think because I've a bit more experience with it now, I can mm. do it better. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you so much, Jamai. Jamai from Jamaica. <laughs> nice to meet you. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much, likewise. Guys, so just take a moment and appreciate this beautiful girl. Like just. Tell her you're beautiful in the comment section. Girl, you're so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And I think we look alike. We look like sisters. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you finding today's weather? It's very bad. <laughs> nice. So how are you able to cut down? Like, I mean, where do you shop now? You know, where, how do you get your clothing, your food items? Like, how are you able to, like, save, literally? Yeah. So food-wise, Aldi, sometimes Asda. And clothes, Primark, or just places I can get clothes for cheap. Oh, nice, nice. So are you able to save at all? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Why not? It's, it's easier for me <laughs> than it is for anyone else. I live for my parents, yeah. 
All right, nice. So she's one of the lucky ones. So is it safe to ask you why you copy bills? <laughs> yeah, I'm copying, yeah. <laughs> Do you pay bills? I help. I contribute towards bills and stuff mm, like that. Right. And food and stuff. Oh, yeah. You're one of the lucky ones. Yeah. I wish I were you now. Right now. <laughs> nice one. Thank you so much, Akisha. To have a lovely day. You too. Look who I just met. Um, what's your name? My name is Shofan. Shofan, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, good. So where are you originally from? I'm from Pakistan, uh, Punjab. Oh, nice. So how long have you been here? Uh, it's been seven months now. I came here back in 2023, September. Yeah. Oh, how are you finding it? It was difficult to cope up with the weather and all, but uh, now I guess it's fine because it's been seven months, seven long <laughs> months. Yeah, now it's good. Oh, nice, nice. All right, so quick one, right? You know, cost of living in the UK has increased significantly. I mean, you came here in September, and I'm sure that the, the things you got for some from some amount of money in September, if you go to the store right now, it has probably increased. Like, that's just what we've been dealing with for the past few months. So how are you coping? Yes, they have been significantly increased, but uh, I guess now what you can do is maybe go to different stores that's what i do mm. different stores visit them compare things uh, i i can show you you get some things from some stores at very high cost mm. but then uh, sometimes you can get same thing from some other store at a very cheap price so just go compare things compare mm. the prices like for me i shop from aldi and lidu because i find their things reasonably cheap yeah, i'd say ld is a good option than little because ld price match you can find it everywhere but yeah. one more option which is good i'd say it's Sainsbury, uh, mm. but if you go for the cheaper stuff, if you want to yes. cope up very like uh, in a in a very good way, mm. so you can go. I guess Stamford is a good product. Mm. You get frozen products, you don't get fresh chicken, but it's it's mm. a lot and it's um, yeah. cheap though. Then transportation. Uh, transportation. Well, uh, I've not been traveling a lot, but my friends have been. So I mm -hmm. guess uh, if you get good passes, uh, you get some very good passes for month mm -hmm. for a month. Mm -hmm. You have to pay some bit. Although you have to still pay for the ride, but you get some uh, oh, good some discounts. Uh, discounts. Yes, yeah, some good discounts. And with it, there are always offers going on. So mm -hmm. I guess that helps. Because mm -hmm. if you travel once, you pay once, it's a lot. But it's you a lot. get a card, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier. Not just for the bus, I guess also for the trains and all. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good. Right. Yeah. Then when it comes to food, how do you cope? I mean, with takeaways because you're a student, so I'm sure most students they like to eat out. So how do you try to navigate your way around that? To be honest, for me, mm. I've not been going out a lot. Mm. I have been on occasions, but not a lot. So uh, I I better prefer um, cooking more at home, mm. so, and that's what I do. I mm. cook a lot, and that's helped me a lot. Cause see. I'm just giving a comparison. It's, it's a go on, go on. It's a pathetic one. But the thing is, you go out at any good restaurant, like in Huddersfield, you've got kebab, or kabana. Mm. You get their meal, one meal for one night. Mm. In the same price, <laughs> you can cook at home for the whole week. Exactly. So, so I guess that's what I do. Uh, but still, if you manage going out, uh, you can do it this way. You can maybe go out twice in a week mm. and uh, for the rest of the time just mm. cook at home because for me it's the thing that um, until I don't get the flavor of my own home country mm. of how my mom cooks oh. so I, I don't get myself satisfied so I mostly cook at, cook at home mm. but it depends mm. otherwise get a job man <laughs> Oh my gosh, such a well-raised man. So, uh, do you work then? Uh, I'd say not yet. Mm. Yes. How uh, have you been managing since September? See, it's it's hard to manage. That's what I'm saying. Wow. It's really hard. I've been searching for jobs a lot. It's been um, six months uh, and I've not it's got hard. a job. It's it's hard. It's hard. And thank you so much, Shifan, for showing up on our channel. We've really learned a lot from you and do have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. I'm an Audi girl. I love to shop from Audi. But the thing is that Audi tend not to have the things that I need or the things that I want most times. So when I go to Audi and they don't have things that I want, I go to Asda. And then with Asda, there's something they recently introduced produce the Audi price mark. So for instance, if you want to buy spaghetti, you might get the normal Asda brand for like 
one pound and then Hazard has this brand called essentials and trust me it's usually very very cheap so you can get the regular Hazard spaghetti for one pound and the essentials will be for like 70 pence and they also offer Aldi price match as well so for me that's what I always look out for if I go to Tesco they, they do Aldi price match in Tesco they have Tesco club card which of course I am part of I have the card that way I'm able to save money because sometimes you might find um Wutabix for like four pounds and who states it that if you have the Tesco club card you can buy it for 10 percent off and at the same time when you go visit stores at a particular time of the day things tend to be cheaper for instance in at Tesco if you visit Tesco towards the evening time it tends to be cheaper because they want they want to sell off so many things that are about to expire and bring in new goods a lot of people don't really know this but when it comes to clothing for me I'm a River Island girl like most of my clothes are from River Island River Island or Zara or Matalan like these are my top three choices but my number one choice is River Island and trust me you would think the clothes are so expensive or original price might be for 60 pounds and I end up buying it for 20 something pounds because I always go to these sale options on River Island and on every other store as well. I love to shop online. I don't like visiting stores. I love to shop online. But then you can even visit stores and lots and lots of items are on sale. Summer clothes, it, it's best to buy them when it's winter because during winter, you find that most stores will start selling off summer clothes at a very, very affordable price. And during summer, they tend to sell off winter clothes at a very, very affordable price. So that way, you're able to save money. And also, leverage sales. Don't joke with sales. Trust me, do not joke with sales. Um, the Boxing Day sales, summer sales. There are so many sales that go on. For me, I regularly, regularly, regularly check these stores to be able to know when they are on sales and stuff. So leverage Day Rider. Some people don't even know there's something called Day Rider where you pay a certain amount of money for that day and you're able to go everywhere within your city that same day with that particular card. And you know what I've seen? We bought a bus, pay, come down, put another bus, pay leverage things like this i understand that you immigrants in the uk they are, they are not aware of this but trust me they are in place and also learn to cook cook guys cook personally we hardly hardly eat out even if it's some though is something i'm trying to introduce now like homemade food does it for us we barely barely eat out you just want to see where i'm like oh my goodness they've been a long time i want mcdonald's or i want pizza or chicken and chips and stuff like that once in a while but it's not something we do all the time so it's something you might want to look at trust me people are actually making it people are making it regardless of how it might seem as though you're making money and it's going out but people are making it and trust me you're gonna make it anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you all again bye guys